Talk Pro. Uh, just a reminder, uh, doesn't cost you any money, but I'd like you to sign up for the booklet. Uh, it's called Basketball's Winning Tools. The tools are statistical measurement. And I know what it has done to my uh, coaching career, and I know that the direction that uh, basketball is going to go over the next 10 years. I'm pretty confident uh, that you need to be involved. You just can't sit around and wait for things, good things to happen to you. You have to go out and search for them and find them and then create that into action. Not just thinking and talking about it down at the bar and stuff, you know. Uh, get into it, get involved, and you'll find your, your career goes much better. Well, uh, today we're going to primarily be films on uh, Cut 2. Uh, pretty good uh, films that we have today. Uh, it goes fairly quick because uh, this is game, uh, this is day five of our workouts. And so now they, they know the, the environment and they know how, how I talk, how I present. Uh, and so they move fairly quickly. Plus, this is all progressive, has been all uh, progressive. We're, uh, we're going to introduce it, as I said, on day five. There's a couple of things you need to pay attention to. I'd like you to. I think it would be good for you. Notice how the teams, they're going to be, uh, be without defense, notice how the teams change after one possession, how smoothly that goes. Players, you know, players are players. You know, you got some guys that are not so fast, not so uh, quick to think and all of that. Uh, they got other guys that think quick and get on there quick. Um, but watch how that works, because this is how I think you should run practices uh, without defense. Uh, you'll see the guys line up on the side. These are college guys. These aren't kids. And uh, they, you know, they're lined up on the side. Uh, they've got a ball. The minute the, the one team is done, they come on. We're ready to go. Might be a little talking, but after a while, they just in and out, in and out. That way you, uh, you get a lot of practice in for everybody. Plus, those guys standing on your sideline are listening to the corrections I make and or if I, uh, you know, point some things out to a player or not, they're there to hear it. They hear one voice. Uh, and uh, the other thing I, I did not show you on the on the board about cut two, uh, but you see it in here because I talk about it, is going over the top of the screen. Now you can do that when they know pretty much that you're running cut two. For example, if it's called, uh, if it's the call is cut one and the guy changes it to cut two that we talked to you about and will be explained in this film, uh, then he pretty much has to go behind. Uh, but I want to warn you that, that uh, going over the top, I introduced that to the, to the players. Now towards the end of this film, uh, we spend some time showing them how they can change one play from another. We have already, of course, put in cut one. You saw that. Uh, but you haven't seen this. Uh, we uh, put in, before this, we, we did cut two. We put in uh, automatic. You hear me talk about it, and you'll see them. They are going to demonstrate. Uh, they don't mean to, but uh, I'm letting them change the play. You hear how I do that uh, while they're coming down the floor without saying a word. They don't need to say anything. They just need to be aware. So watch for that and stay on so you hear and see 
how this changing takes place. It's terrific for you. Uh, your opponents will not know what you're doing. Uh, you will have the advantage of doing things, striking at things, getting shots uh, that they're not going to get against the set defense. So let's go now and we'll go to the film and uh, watch for these things as we go. Uh, that we put in. Um, I, I'm pretty sure of that, but uh, I, uh, I want to show you cut two. We've had cut one uh, automatic. And this is cut two. Uh, so hit him, make our cut like you always do. Step out and set your pick like you always do. Now here's the difference in cut two. Uh, he's not going to come out to get the ball. He can go over the top or he can go behind and cut right down to that uh, block area in there. Okay? Uh, now this is what I told you the other day. When these guys that really are fighting this pick to keep you from getting the ball, and if you are the right kind of player, they're going to fight you. Well, this is the move that will keep them from fighting you. Because now they try to get over this screen, and you just blow right by them. Okay? But you can go over the top. If they play soft, you can go over the top. Step out. Pass. Screen. Both teams. Both. Both. Okay, now... This is pretty ordinary up to this point, but what makes it good and very good is stunting. Using all your stunts, you got two guys stunting uh, instead of just one. And you, what I, if you're at the first, when you're not sure of what you're doing, you do guys cross before you come out, okay? Just cross and then uh, come out. No, the, the cutter I'm talking about. And, uh, but after you get to know, you can even go both guys come out the same side. If he comes out and he curls, you could come out to the wing. Or if he comes out to the wing, you could come out to the curl. You can do all kinds of things in here. And then the other thing is if you hit one of these wings, you've got a post-up man to play with. Okay? Now you've got to see, you've got a lot of passing lanes in here. You've got those guys cutting. And you got the post-up men. Post-up men should be very active uh, because this is a, a, a good pass right down there. A lot of times, they will lay off you a little bit. You can just step right in. But, but make sure we do the, the screening first. OK? Let's run it. Out there. Here we go. Cut two. There you go. No, you can. Hey, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you can do that. Yep. We got, we got to do a lot of things in there because that's what makes it work. It takes, it, it just is something you got to learn. But listen to me. Anytime that you screw up, we just go monk. I don't care. Uh, I, uh, monk will be our best offense at the end of the day. Uh, and so, you know, if we screw up on this, but this gives us a chance to, uh, to play against us, uh, to be prepared for a set defense. Uh, this is, you know, they're set now. Execution really makes a difference. And movement makes a lot of difference. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, any, any of our stunts. Yeah. Now, I, I call them stunts. Curl is a stunt. Uh, back cut is a stunt. Uh, a flare is a stunt. All of these, I just call them stunts. Okay, these, some people call them options. Uh, you know, uh, but, but they're, they're, we're talking about uh, the same thing. Hardly anybody, though, does as many of them as we do. Uh, some teams will curl a little bit. Some teams will back cut a little bit. Uh, but the options we got here are, are double that. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Now remember, you, you can pass to the cutters. Cutters coming off that high post. Is it cut to a read off of his cut, or is it like a call? Hmm? Is it a read off of this high ball screen? It's, it's, a, it's just a read, yeah. And then 
Just yeah, he, uh, we don't call it, uh, call it, we just let them run. Uh, it depends on how the defense plays them. You know, if they play a little soft, you can go over the top, uh, and, and then probably you'll get them posted down there. But the guys at uh, the wingmen, uh, watch those cutters, because uh, uh, you can get the ball to them a lot of times. All right, here we go. Go ahead. There you go. Good, good. Next. Good cuts, good cuts, good. That's where to cut. Okay, then then a split. Same thing on this. When you feed the post, anytime you feed the post in our offense, you split. Find somebody to split with, and be alert to split. Okay, go ahead. There, that's good, good. Now the screener, you just got to be alert, but that was good. Uh, we just d didn't know enough to throw it in there, but it was good. I think on that, uh, you'd be better off curling or back cutting, you know, than just floating out to the corner. Okay, be aggressive. All right, here we go. There, good, good. Now you, you high post men, you, you know, I'm putting you in a position. Uh, you got to really be looking down there and be able to get the ball to them. Uh, Kyle made a nice back cut in there for a layup. You got, you just have to be really beat it in down on the basket. Go ahead. Good, good. Next. Here we go, here we go. Swing it, there you go, good. No, no. That first cutter, Kyle. Kyle, when you're the first cutter, go to the other side of the lane. Yeah. All right, black. There, good. Good. It's a way to look, Kenny. Good. got to read that cut. You got to be alert in there. Keep, keep the concentration because that was a pop and you probably got a shot yourself. Okay. White. That's it. Good, good. There's just a lot of basketball here. You just got to find it. Why? Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Why did you throw that? We got guys cutting and everything, and you just, I mean, they're not part of anything we do. All right, next, white. Here we go. Now you're in monk. Okay, just somebody say it, monk. And just start moving. Do what you do. Good, 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 good. But don't make that split automatic, you know, just exchanging. Because if you just exchange, they just slide through. Again, I see it again. Okay. 
Yeah, here we go. Next, right. There, good, good. Okay, um, black come out, I mean, set up, set up. Um, now, what you have right now is no matter what I call, if I were you coach, you've got a way of changing things. First of all, you have the automatic, okay? Uh, because when the call comes in from a coach, uh, he may have seen something. But that something may disappear the next possession. Uh, and uh, it opens up something else. Uh, so you have that option. You also have an option on cut one. Uh, you can turn cut one into cut two anytime that it's the right thing to do. By simply, and this is why you all have to be alert. Uh, because you've got to read this. You, I, I'm out there saying cut one, he, he runs automatic, but we've got to run that and run it right and with good, uh, good quickness. Now, I call cut one, go ahead, run cut one, come in here. Okay, when he, no, come here, come here. When he says it does this and cuts to the basket, he's turned it into cut two, okay? So you, I mean, what, I, what the coach calls in, in my system can be changed, and that makes us more unpredictable. You know, I'm saying cut one, you're running uh, automatic, you know, or cut two. But it's, it's, it's good that you have the option to turn this into cut two because uh, you stop them from overplaying you. It opens up a lot of things. It makes you very difficult. When you're running cut two well, with those cuts and screens, it's very hard to defend you. So now, from I'm going to, we're going to start every play as cut one, but you change it when you want to, okay? Uh, not when, actually, not when you want to, but when you see something that uh, the defense is doing that makes it easy, gen or better. Generally, it's when this guy gets overplayed. Uh, and, uh, or sometimes it might be because this guy's man is dropping all the way up. There's different reasons. Uh, but uh, now, so now you got, when I say cut one, we're gonna, that's what we're going to run. We still are running all of it, okay? And if it breaks down, you got Monk. Okay, go ahead. Brandon, when, you get, when he cuts off you, you post up, okay? Don't float into the middle. So it just jams things up. Go ahead, go ahead. Swing that ball once in a while. Let's see it all now. Okay. Split, split, split. Passer. That's the split. Remember the split drill? Okay, here we go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You know, that was, that's automatic. Yeah, okay. Well, what were you doing? Okay. All right, try it again. Try it again. Here we go. Good, good. And remember your, remember the weak side on, on automatic. Uh, and, but we're going too slow on these things, it, it, you don't have the timing yet. I don't mind you doing things slower, but they have to be quick yet. You know, you can't just walk through something. The defense is going to defend you. You know, the defense can't defend good, solid quickness. They'll, they can do it for a while, but they can't do it if you push at them all game long. Okay, go ahead. There, okay. Practice once in a while going to that weak side so we can do it because it's a good shot. It's a good play. Okay, white. Okay, we're starting. Every play is cut one, but we can change it. But run cut one, too, because we need practice in that.
No, no, you've got to go set that pick. Okay, try it again. Try it again. Try it again. And you can just hold in that lane for two or three counts until the pick gets there. Dribble, dribble, good, 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 good. Walk them in, good, good. All right, not bad. Now you change it to cut two, good. Cameron a little tighter. That defensive man can slide right through with you. You go tight. He well, I hope you got a lot out of that. I hope that uh, you learned. Uh, and I hope that you saw the potential that you have with this offense. Or any offense that you want to design. But, you know, I wouldn't start designing offenses until I'm 8 to 10 years in, in coaching. Uh, you, you, you waste a lot of time. But you, I want you to see how the motion uh, creates problems and how we can switch from one play to the next without talking. Coach calls, cut one. All of a sudden, they're running automatic. You'll see it, uh, uh, how it works. Uh, and so the defense is never sure of what you're going to do, because you don't know. I mean, I, I, the coach gets up and says, cut one, they think you're going to run cut one, all of a sudden you're running something else. Because the players don't know until that, that pass is made. If the pass is made to the high postman, it's a automatic, excuse me. If it's um, running cut one, and then all of a sudden turning it into cut two, then it becomes cut two. A lot, of, a lot of exciting things can happen. So that's it for today. Again, I want to ask all of you to consider and make the decision. This is what I want to do. I'm going to take it to the top. I want to, I want to know everything there is about basketball. The statistical work, the coaching, uh, the background, uh, the personal development. It's an exciting life. Uh, I'm just going to tell you, it's, you won't regret it. Uh, you get into this life, and even the bad seasons you get are, are still good uh, when you're into it. We'll see you, we'll see you next time.